Okay, so welcome back to more Breaking Bad Reactions. We are on Season 1, Episode 6 today. This is the episode where I've been told is really, really good uh, compared to the rest. Episode 6 seems to be an episode that people keep pointing out, so I'm looking really forward to this. I could sort of guess it with last episode anyway, because that's where stuff's going to kick off. He's gone back to Jesse. He said, Let, do you want to cook? So you know this is where shit's going to go down. But as for now, I hope you enjoy the video. There he is, getting the lab set back up. As he can see, he's been doing well without him. I don't want to see them. I don't want to hear from them. I want no interaction with them whatsoever. That's not going to go down well, is it? That ain't going to be the case. What? Sorry? What the fuck was that? Was that some like major look into the future or something? What the shit? I'm so confused. It'll come full circle at the end of the episode, it always does. Alright, this is where the hair loss and all that's going to begin. So yeah, it will come full, uh, full circle at the end of the episode. These, these afternoons, I mean, when you're coming home so late and, and you're just left wondering where you are. Making a lot of money, that's where he is. What's up with that? Well, is there anything else holding back from your family? Yeah, but it's a little bit illegal, love, so I can't really say. Now's the time to share. What can you say as an excuse for that, though, to be fair? I'm just dizzy, I mean. yeah. Jesse doesn't even know yet that he's got cancer, right? Yeah. When's he going to tell him that? Gotta he's got to tell him soon. Oh, when are you going to tell me? Oh, we've seen the thing on the chest, yeah. Tell you what. How long? Seven months? There's no way this series takes place takes place over the span of just seven months, is there? No. Maybe it does. You do it. Go on, here. You do it. You don't know how to. You tried, and it come out all cloudy. It's a very cheerful song for such something so. Uh... Look, he's upper level, man. He's not gonna do business with some dude he doesn't know. If you've got you good enough stuff, he will. Works. You can't just bust some fucking balls. This must be so weird for him. Just to, used to be his teacher, and now doing something like this. Are you up for having a visitor? Hey, buddy. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. Well, let me know if you need anything, huh? I will. Thank you, Carmen. Chick's got an ass like an onion. <laughs> what do you mean work related though? Oh no. This is where he's probably gonna be really careful. That? That's where we're looking a little sparse. <laughs> is it? Yeah. How is he getting out of this? They could surely be snooping around. At least. I've been on his shit. Don't ignore it on my account. Answer it. Come on, I got stuff to do. Hey me, Jesse. Hello. Yeah. What's up, Mr. W? Tuco. Turns out my boy Skinny P was in the same cell block with him over at Los Lunas. So we got her in. Wrong. Skinny P, is that the guy from, um, right was it the third episode? Okay, then. Well Yo, man, I'm Skinny P. Yeah, man, that's what's happened. Yeah, a bit big, too, big for his boots there. <laughs> Would you get it? Fucking okay, no. hell. Cooked it. <sighs> All right. Oh. This is where a big money's gonna come in. Oh, dude, Tuco's good for it. I don't need your punk ass to bark for me. You ain't getting out of there, man. That was a stupid move, wasn't it? I'm thinking this is what the explosion is at the end, you know? 
I'm thinking Walt does something about this. Maybe. How much money is he putting in that? Fucking hell. This is not going to be that simple. No. Nope. Yeah, I think Walt's going to be the one to do something about that. That probably explains it. This is a similar sort of Star Wars they done with the first episode, didn't it? Where they, it showed the ending of the episode at the beginning. I'm thinking it's the same here. Do they really think it's him? Nah, no, man. Why are they arresting him for? What the fuck? They have no... He's a janitor though, isn't he? So... Fit the profile, and when we searched his truck, we found a big old fat blunt, which goes to prove old huge Hugo ain't so cool after all. It's uh, just yeah, I'll call. Can I feel yeah, guilty for that? Just... Yeah, well, <laughs> another personal Walt, but uh, you wouldn't know a criminal if he was close enough to check you for a hernia. <laughs> uh, yeah, you wouldn't, would he? Now that said, probably spent a couple months in county if it's not his first rap. I'm waiting. <laughs> that sucks because he's a nice guy. He's the one who he helped Walt and stuff. He's gonna beat him. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because it's like a game of poker between them two with their with what they're doing, Bad. like with Walt doing meth and all that. Bad, horrible liar. You smoking that, huh? This is this is a cool scene because it. Flush, they're playing poker and it's like playing poker in real life as well. Oh, he absolutely, oh shit, he played you, and he's playing you in the real world as well. That's why I think that, that seems brilliant, I think. That was really good. With the conversation, switching in and out of a uh, game and real life as well, I think that's really good. That messed up pretty good. I was all like, damn, too cold chill, I say. Shut up, man, no you weren't. What got into him? Tell me about this Tuco. Tell me everything about him. He is gonna end off that way, innit? That's gonna be fucking bad. Also. It's gonna be like a character defining moment for uh, for Walt, I think. How is this gonna go down? Ah, because he looks badass. Maybe you. Yeah, I mean, this Tuco guy knows that he can talk shit and talk down to um Jesse, but. Maybe he'll be a bit like of an intimidation sort of thing with, with Walt. Not that he'll be intimidated, but it'll be a bit different. I'm really interested in this scene, you know, I'm really interested. You can ask Walt to try it. First. But he seems to always do. Heisenberg. Heisenberg. Heisenberg? Huh? The fuck? Can see Heisenberg. Why don't you start talking and tell me what you want? $50,000. <laughs> oh, man. 50 G's? How you figure that? 35 for the pound of meth you stole, and another 15 for my partner's pain and suffering. What the fuck has he got up his sleeve to be demanding something like this? This is going to be really, really interesting. I steal your dope. And then you walk in here and you bring me more men? <laughs> and you got one part of that wrong. This is not meth. Oh, shit! Fuck off, man. What an absolute boss. You fucking legend. You absolute legend. That was so sick. No way. I did not expect that. Honestly, did not expect that. What an absolute boss. Holy shit. There you go, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> Holy shit. I'll give you your money. Fucking hell, he's got some kingpin giving him money. Another pound next week. <laughs> oh, shit. 
That was so good. Money up front. Money up front. What an absolute legend. Oh, man. Now, that is how you go there looking for a deal. What an absolute legend. I'm literally six episodes in, but he is hands down already in my top five favorite characters of all time. Fucking no doubt. I'm not even finished season one yet. What a master. Nego that wasn't even a negotiation, though, was it? That was a literally, I want this and you're going to give it to me. Heisenberg. The birth of Heisenberg. Oh, man, what a character-defining moment, for real. Oh, my God, that was such a good episode. That was so good. Honestly, hands down, the best episode so far. I knew something was going to go down this episode just because it, that was that, that what they were hit, what they were building up to for like five episodes of them two coming together. They were trying to, you had Jesse trying to go straight, you had Walter trying to come to terms with the cancer and all that, and then it, it linked to this moment. So I knew something big was going to happen in this episode. Honestly, did not expect that. Even when he picked it up, I didn't expect that to be some sort of a explosion. I was I was thinking, how is he going to get out of this? Like, how the hell is he coming here demanding it? They've all got guns. Like, they will take him down instantly. He's not a fighter. So that was just insane. That was so good. I want to say we're not going to have a better scene than that this season, but honestly, I, w I just will not put it past them. Like, for real, I will not put it past them. Next episode, probably will have a better scene than that, and the episode after that will probably be better. I just, I can't wait to get into more. I I've got to watch the next episode after that. Definitely a character-defining moment for Walter, 100%. Um, that's the obviously the birth of Heisenberg, and he left the insane first impression but that's my reaction to breaking bad season one episode six hope you enjoyed this video and as always cheers for watching